And welcome back to 25 Times. We're here at the Two Speed Power Glide Cafe in Candy Corn, Massachusetts, having 25 times more fun with 125th scale model cars, builds, and talk. Today we're reviewing the 49 Mercury model by AMT. It's our entry model for the Blue Ox Model Shop Street Machine Community Build. Folks, looks like my little brother is running late, so we'll just get started without him. Now, every good model kit review begins with the instructions, wouldn't you agree? So let's start there. Let's see. What have we here? I guess I'm not really surprised that little Bob would miss this part of the model kit review. We know the instructions are not always his favorite part. I've tried many times to show little Bob the joys of following the instructions. Start with the engine, right? Even if we don't build the old flathead, still, let's check it out. Let's look at every detail. Like, do you like the stock cylinder head or the Oppenhauser? And I, you know, I try to engage him and, and he does. He gets engaged, he seems to listen, he seems to care, but then, you know, he just won't change. Hit the trumpets, bring a doom. Little Bob is in the house. Hi folks, welcome to 25 Times. I'm Big Bob. He's 25 times too small. And he's 25 times too big. And together we're 25, 25 times, times too much, much fun for the plastic model car hobby. Little Bob, I was getting worried. What's up? Good news and bad news. Okay, bad news first. The cops impounded the yank. Oh, not again. Yep. Dang, blast it. No. Well, what's the good news? The truth. The truth? Veritas. Veritas is ready? The key to my future happiness is ready? Yeah. Where is she? At Iconics, in the shop, under lock and key, like you said. Hallelujah! I'm glad you're happy. Hey, Big Bob, I was wondering. What's that, little Bob? Do you think maybe outside chance? What? Just till we get the yank back. No. Could I drive Are you kidding me? Veritas? Give me a second chance, Big Bob. That's all I want. That would be like a 250 second chance. Please. We're building you this Mercury, little Bob. Veritas is sacred to me. Well, she's sacred to me, We've too. We've been over this. Little Bob, you're a lead foot. I'm a safe driver. I don't want to argue in front of our guests. Anyway, look, Rob, you marching forward without us showing the instructions as though we've been commenting on them all along. Oh, yeah. I thought you got rid of Robbie. Well, I decided his camera function was pretty handy after all. So you like him? I wouldn't go that far. Well, but once I set his charisma to zero, I found I could live with him. Why'd you do that? I guess I just don't appreciate his brand of humor. You've changed, Big Bob. Yeah. I used to love fart jokes. Then I turned 12. <laughs> Very mature. Now, before we get on with this model kit review, would you please explain what happened today with the police? Sure. I was on my way here, minding my own business. Oh, wait a second. I'm sorry. Let's get a visual. Hey, Robbie, pull up an old photo of the Charger the day we got it. Sweet. Folks, this is how the Charger looked the day we pulled it out of the junkyard. It's a 67. We called it the Dead Phone Charger. And my awesome brother fixed it up for me. We painted it blue. And dubbed it the Yank. I had no idea it would get yanked off the road so often. The cops can't stop yanking it. So you're on your way here, just minding your own business. Yeah. Then what happened? Well, they pulled me over three times. Were you speeding? No. Let me rephrase that. Was the Yank speeding? No. Then why did they pull you over? No reason. There must have been a reason. The first two times, they let me go with just a warning. But the third time, I was done. Oh, good golf balls. The cop walks up to me and I tell him to his face, This is bullshit. And he goes, Are you swearing at me? I say, I'm not swearing at you, I'm swearing at the situation. He goes, well, if you're talking to me, and you're swearing, then you're swearing at me. And I said, then I guess I'm swearing at you, because this is bullshit. That's not too bright. And then I see this lady walking by with a dog, and I go, excuse me, ma'am, have you seen this car before? She goes, every time I see this car, it's pulled over by the side of the road. Then I said, you see, you guys are profiling me. The cop goes, that's not what profiling means. Of course it is. He looks at me, he decides, I'm 25 times too small. That's profiling. <laughs> Folks, we're a military family. We respect and honor the brave men and women in law enforcement. We certainly do not condone... Hey, 
I respect them. And we know the police have better things to do than chase little Bob up and down Mass Ave all afternoon. I did nothing wrong. Yes, but look at it this way. We have a tradition in the big and little Bob McDonald family, little Bob. We read the instructions. We're disciplined people. We pay attention to things. We're precise, accurate, dependable, trustworthy, reliable, steady, effective, a contributor. Okay, okay, don't blow a gasket. I want this for you, little Bob. That's why I feel so passionate about it. I know. I, I want you to experience the feeling of... When you follow the rules, life gets better. Much better. No more getting pulled over. No more tickets. No more fines and court appearances. Getting hassled. Phone calls. When you follow the rules, you get the very best of life. Will you let me drive the Impala? All things are possible for those who follow the rules. I want to, Big Bob. I want to please you. I know you do. Look, let's go to break. When we come back, we'll dive into the model kit review for the Blue Ox Model Shop Street Machine Community Build, James Dean's 49 Mercury. And we're back, having 25 times more fun with 125th scale model cars, builds, and talk. Today we're reviewing the 49 Mercury model kit. We just did the instructions. Now let's sort the parts. I like to mark the baggies first. It's painful watching lefties right. Close your eyes, Northpaw. It's like your brain is on backwards. I'm just hacking parts off the trees for now, keeping the parts numbers intact. Bench seat, baby. You prefer the bench to the buckets? I prefer lunch buckets. <laughs> Hey, I'm impressed. By what? You, look at you. You're precise, accurate, dependable, trustworthy, reliable, steady, effective. <laughs> By the way, folks, I wanted to mention, we were really happy to hear from a fellow modeler recently, Red Scale Scrapyard. Very useful channel for model car builders. You should definitely go check it out. But look what he sent us. It's from an old magazine. Cool. How to chop the top of a 49 Mercury. Exactly what we need. And if we do exactly as it says, I think we should be golden. Way to go, Reds. We also got some shop cards from other modelers. Hey, Robbie, show the shop cards. Skeletal remains. Cool. Thank you, Rick Zink. There's his channel address. Go check him out. Rick is over there having the time of his life with model cars, and I love it. Me too. Robbie, next one. Smith and Clues in 62. Very cool channel, Hobby Barn. Excellent quality, fine model building. Go check this channel out, everybody. So nice to hear from Hobby Barn and Rick Zink. I will also ask my lovely wife, Bobby, to put the links to their channels in the description. Good. So, Big Bob, have you thought about it? Thought about what? You know, letting me drive the Impala? No, because I don't think we've seen any evidence that you've changed, little Bob. Well, what kind of evidence do you need? Video evidence is fine. For example, hey Robbie, show the yank at my house last Thursday. I admit it, I was there. What's the point? Hey Robbie, now, what did I see on my walk the other day? That's not about me. I'm a safe driver. You sure draw a lot of attention for a safe driver. Can I help it? I'm a good looking guy. Look, I'm just saying I need to see more evidence. Positive signs. A little forensics are in order. Is that a computer? No, a phone. Oh, maybe. It, it is. Look, there's something on the screen. Holy smokes, it's an Easter egg from Bud the Cat Anderson. Who is Bud the Cat Anderson? He was the head of marketing for AMT starting in 1959, I believe. He pretty much invented our hobby, little buddy. And the cat cartoon? That was his signature. Remember, whenever you saw the cat cartoon on the AMT box, you knew the model was loaded with customizations. I remember the cat. This is amazing. Oh, cool. I think I can get this working. The computer? Yeah. Let me try to hook it up. You're connecting to weirdness. Don't go there, little Bob. Hang on. Behold. Veritas! The truth. Oh, look at her, folks. Just the prettiest 61 Chevrolet Impala you ever did see. She's real fine, my 409. Now I can finally be happy. Wait a minute, what's that? What? Is that a Cheerio? A full-scale Cheerio? It's not a Cheerio, it's a 125th scale bagel. Go back! It's 
stupid drum cam. It was a Cheerio. I think it was a bagel. Well, what was it doing on the shop floor? One of the guys must have dropped it. Can't we keep the shop neater? I'll talk to the guys. I like everything neat and tidy. Like these bags of parts. Understood. Look, little Bob. Slow down. Drive safe. Keep it clean. Follow the rules. If you can do those things, I'll let you drive Veritas. I'll do my best. Good. Now, we're almost done with our review of the 49 Mercury model kit, but there is one thing left. Who wants to see a bare body of a gorgeous model car? Hey, Big Bob. After this, can you give me a ride? Oh, right. The Yank is impounded. Where do you need to go? The ball field. It's the annual Guns and Hoses charity baseball game. Cops against the firemen. Why do you want to go to that? They asked me to up. The cops asked you? That's right. The same guys who impounded your car? Don't worry, Big Bob. I'll make sure they play by the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we hope you enjoyed this episode of 25 Times. You're home for having 25 times more fun with 125th scale model cars, builds, and talk. And now, until next time... From both of us... Big Bob... And Little Bob... Saying dream big... And Little Little... <laughs> this is fun.